sad, actually. Okay, so our arena director is in process of lining up the grand entry. His name is Scott Devoid. Scott, give me a big wave. This is Scott Devoid, everybody. If Scott asks you to not take a photo, please listen to what he says. If he asks you to not let your dog run through the circle, please listen to what he says. I do everything Scott tells me to do. He's the arena director for the weekend.
So <laughs> that's the barn owl, yeah. screech owl, and great horn, which you can see with the light. I've seen a great So there's a little bit of a delay here, and then you're going to hear the sound. The first one is um, the barn owl here. And it sounds, people think it sounds like who cooks for you, who cooks for you. Now it was, we had problems with this earlier when he played with cold and he just fixed it. Now here it is. Yeah. 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 He fixed it and whatever, I don't know what they do. When the screech one comes on, you're certainly going to be hearing the difference. Have you? Very weird sounding. Not like I'm the one who that, like I've heard many animal noises of somebody like those. People will say it sounds just like a horse whinnying. Yeah, it does. In a way, yeah. 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 It's definitely a little different. But yeah. <laughs> it's kind of ghosty. It is. It is. I, and then this yeah. one. Colors and the white powder is now red, and even the laundry detergent you still can tell one is a liquid and then the other is a powder, but it, it does look different. Now, you can see a little fluorescence here. If you bought yourself a light, if it was a long wave light, this is kind of what you would see. But I'm going to add this light. This has this was custom made for us, um, and it's got two short wave bulbs in it. And that's why you have these glasses. Only one company makes these. Oh, nice wow. yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. And I'm going to move the glass so we can see the other side. There's one here from New Hampshire, in case you think maybe New Hampshire doesn't have any fluorescent in those. Wow. Um, wow. The specimen I have is not that great. I bought it a year ago at the annual rock swap over in Gilsum. And the pinkish that you're seeing is not the fluorescence, that's just the reflection of the light. It's this piece on top that's sort of yellowish looking, which is um, uh, fluorite, the, uh, this yellowish, and it's not very big. I was hoping to get to the rock swap again this year from this uh, mineral uh, mine in uh, Franklin, New Jersey. And I thought, well, two kids aren't going to have anything. Well, I was wrong. What they had was spectacular. And I felt badly that once they left, you know, the, the museum, they weren't going to be able to see them look like that again. But anyway, this is a piece of granite in the back, but on the surface it has highlight opal, which is fluorescent. This was a surprise. We used to be located at Green Hill Farm in Pachuca. This used to sit on the floor, not even with the rest of the members. We didn't have room. And I brought, put it on this table, and look at the surprise I got. And we had a little girl here, and she said, look at this inside. So I don't know if this is highlight oval, similar to this or not. I'm not a mineralogist, I'm not even, not even a geologist, but it's on the surface like this is. So I'm just 